Legendary actor Oliver Stone has admitted to one of the biggest mistakes that he has made in his life as the result of suffering from TDS. We have a lot to get into this whole crazy story here involving Oliver Stone because as we know, there's a lot of political tension right now. There's a lot of craziness happening in the political sphere, uh, sphere when it comes to our society, when it comes to our culture here in America. And well, it's not really slowing down. It's continuing to get more and more insane. And Oliver Stone is starting to realize that he made a big, big mistake. And I think there's a lot of Americans who are kind of in the same boat as Oliver Stone, unfortunately. So, filmmaker Oliver Stone regrets voting for Joe Biden. I made a mistake. Clearly. I mean, <laughs> pretty, it's pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, director Oliver Stone said he regrets voting for Joe Biden in the 2020 election, warning that the president is dragging the country into a potential World War III with Russia. Anyone could have told you that this was the possibility of what was going to happen, okay? Trump was one of the only presidents in who knows how long, like for as long as I can remember, who didn't drag us into some sort of war. And yet, of course, Oliver Stone didn't listen to any of the things that, you know, people who are in the conservative spheres had to say about everything that was happening with our country and where we were going to be going as a country in that direction. All he could do was focus on what the mainstream narrative was, what the Hollywood narrative was, and that is, of course, just what so many of these people have done. Unfortunately, when it comes to our country, I voted for him. I made a mistake. Well, at least you finally admitted it. So let's go ahead and check out this video here where Oliver Stone talks about all of the craziness about what is happening. This is a p potential World War III. This is the same situation as World War I, in a sense, the stupidity of it because of the alliances and the fears and the built-up phobias. Talking about stupidity, imagine, imagine voting for Joe Biden. Like, just imagine. We, if we don't stop this, what Biden is doing, this guy is, I, vo I voted for him. I made a mistake. I'm thinking that he was an old man now that he would calm down, he'd be more mellow and so forth. I didn't see that at all. I and that, that is, like, unfortunately a thing that so many people fell for. And it's it's a lie. It's it's a false narrative that is being pushed out there. If you just vote for Biden, everything will be okay. Everything will go back to normal, guys. I see a man who maybe is not in charge of his own administration. Who knows? But he's, he's going to fall down somewhere. But it seems that he's dragging us stupidly into a confrontation with a... A power that's not gonna give. Stay free. See it first. So anyway, I mean, he, I mean, he's he's right. He's right about about all of this. So anyway, you know, it's crazy because this is exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of regret happening now. Is that regret gonna translate into anything that's gonna be substantial in the election next year? I, I it's very tough for me to take a look at where we are at as a country and the the lack of people who have any sort of drive to actually course correct to do a 180 in this country. And it makes me think that, you know, it's going to be tough for us to actually turn anything around when it comes to this sinking ship that we are all on, unfortunately. But I hope that I am wrong. You know, maybe that's just the pessimist in me. But let me know what you think about all this that is going on with all the craziness that is happening in society and our, in our culture. What do you think about what Oliver Stone has to say here? Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.